Well, good morning, guys, and thanks for uh, tuning in. I uh, got a lot of views on my uh, Rodoto battery box build, and so I think what I'm going to do is try to get some of my other videos I've done. One on this cooler, um, I'll get it out, and uh, kind of had a lot going on. Um, we got rid of the coach, and we're still going camping, so I rented this, but um, I do have this... Um, Dr. Prepare battery, and I ended up putting um, the same screen on it, a light, and the Anderson plug. Um, so we'll probably do a video on it, or put put it out. And then my uh, this box right here, I got, I take it everywhere. So um, I got a lot of views on it, and a lot of interest. And so I think what I'm gonna do, this one was almost kind of a proof of concept. So the inside, um, it's a it's a rat's nest, to be honest with you. Uh, I was just trying to see how it all work. Um, I wanted to get, see how this works, see how this work. I did get some fans and I thought these screens were cool, but they're, um, They're a little noisy. The fans are quiet uh, otherwise. Um, I also, you guys have commented I need some fuses. I agree. Um, like I said, and then a couple people asked, you know, how much to build one of these and then sell it. And so what I want to do, I haven't forgotten about you guys. Um, I've just been swamped. Uh, I want to put a price list together and then also my links there to my Camp Prevo channel. So I've got to set up another Amazon account so that they'll work for this channel. So got a bunch of work to do. Haven't forgot about you guys. Um, I think that battery in this box is slick. It just works awesome. We're going to bring it camping this weekend, probably use it all. Um, some people wanted to see this power, <clears throat> the refrigerator in the freezer and so it will i've got uh with that anderson plug the bad thing with the anderson plug it's rated at 50 amps and i need almost 100 to start it but um i've got uh, this little inverter and i put the uh, anderson plug on it and this is kind of I mean, it looks like a do-it-yourself job, but it's, like I said, some of this stuff was like proof of concept, but I've got this guy. Um, this will run anything I want, um, and so will this. It just wouldn't fit in the box, and you know, 99% of the time, I want to charge cell phones. I need a light. I'm going to run that cooler, so I don't need to lug this stuff around, but if I need it, I can just bring it, but I think what would be neat, like what you guys said, is in a power emergency you know i've got a, a garage fridge and a freezer what i could do is i'm um, this guy right here will run it i'll plug this into those batteries what we might do since i've got the uh, doctor prepare and the rudoto is uh plug these in and see how long it'll run should be the same because they're, they're the same watt hours but um see how long it run these uh plugged in um, and then, uh, this video that I've got coming up, I thought you guys might be interested in it. Uh, I took, uh, two 8D batteries and an Outback inverter and kind of made a, uh, backup UPS for the house. Um, that'll run a lot of power and, uh, yeah. Um, thanks for, uh, having interest in the batteries. Um, I'll get some more videos coming out here soon. I've just got to get, you can see here I'm transitioning, trying to get rid of, it's not junk, but uh, stuff we don't use anymore, and then uh, get some more stuff in here. But enjoy the video on that, and I'll get um, a video on this, the Dr. Prepare, um, running the freezers, and then also uh, if the two people that want me to build a battery box want me to, um, I'll do a build on each of those, and I'll do the wiring better, I'll get fuses, I'll get my links together, all of that stuff. So uh, without further ado, um, put you in the video. This video was recorded a little bit ago, so disregard the time lapse, but hope you enjoy. Hit like and subscribe, trying to grow the channel. All right guys, for anybody that's uh, left, 
what I'm gonna do is build me a box right there. I'm gonna be able to slide the batteries in. They are 160 pounds a piece. And that inverter is probably every bit of 50 pounds. So what I'm gonna do is build that box. Um, those front two by fours in the middle um, will be removable. Um, and then all I need are two two by fours. Uh, kind of a hoarder, I guess. I, this piece of plywood's exactly the right size. Um, I use this on my um, EG4 battery box build, and this is gonna be exactly the size of the box, so that'll cover it. Um, got my box of goodies here. I'm uh, gonna use this, plug this in to here. It's 20 amp um, for the uh, AC out. I found a pigtail cord and uh, I'll plug it into there. And from the battery post, I've got these cables left over from my bus along with all of those, so I don't need any. So I'll use probably this guy, right? Maybe this guy since I got it. I don't know what size it is. Um, I think it's like two watt. So I've got <laughs> all the power I need. And then, so I'll use one of those to connect the batteries together. And then I'll use um, two of those to run up to there. Uh, the other thing that I've pulled out, I've got a um, 150 amp uh, fuse. And so at 24 volt, it's 3,600 watts. And that is a uh, 3,000 watt hour uh, 30 amp, I think it's 3,500 watt. So I'll blow that fuse um, before I peek this out and everything, but it, I probably need a bigger fuse in there, but um, it, it'll be fine for what I want to use. I don't have to buy anything. I'd rather blow a fuse than blow anything else up. So I'm gonna go to the store and get uh, two two befores and uh, I'll get the stuff made. All right, so I went to the store and I got two two befores, cut them into uh, six one footers, took my um, plywood that I had, cut it into three pieces. <sighs> love, love, love my track saw. I hardly use my uh, table saw anymore and I've got, a, got one of these guys on here. Makes it real easy to cut. It's just so precise with that. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna build the whole thing and uh, work on getting it over there in that corner before I put the batteries in it. All right, guys, I got that stand built. I've got the inverter sitting on it. I drilled two holes, um, kind of ready to stick the batteries in and try to get some cables set up. So I think I'm gonna try to throw it in over there in the corner. All right, so I got those batteries in there. So that's 130 or 160 pounds. So let's say 150, cause I can't remember. So that's 350 pounds on there. But uh, I slid it over there and it worked out just fine. So now I've just got to work on my cables. But I think before I do that, I got to get my AC in. So I'm not uh, inside of that when I hook it up. So I'm gonna hook my, uh, screw this down and put the uh, AC cables on. All right, here's another build update. So batteries in there. I got this guy mounted on. I got this guy mounted, um, put a grommet through here, uh, mounted the display, uh, have it end up coming up through here. Um, this wire will plug the unit in. So now I'm gonna hook the batteries up. Well, I got it hooked up. Um, throw that over here. So I got the batteries hooked together. I got a fuse in there coming up here. Only uh, in the displays on. Only one problem, it's so heavy I can't even budge it. <sighs> uh, figure it out here. Well, I got it all pushed in and hooked up. Uh, starting to get some of my garage back. So basically these batteries run the inverter, which runs this outlet. And then this inverter 
um, I'll plug it in there. But if I turn it on, then I've got this plugged in here. So basically this will act kind of like a UPS. Um, one of these cords right here, or the yellow cord, it goes downstairs to my sump pump. And what I'd like to do is plug my sump into here for the backup. And then this will plug into that outlet. And so it's only emergency anyway, but if that sump pump runs, it will pull from the main power. But if the main power gets disrupted, then this turns itself on and I'll be able to run it from here. Um, the other, this is like the network for our house, all the internet and stuff. I'd like to plug that in there too. The other, I don't know how I do it, but the uh, my garage door openers, it'd be nice to run off there too. But um, yeah, instead of throwing it all away, it's worked out pretty good. Kind of fits there in the corner. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna put a cover over it or not, but thanks for tuning it in. Um, it's dropped down to like 40 degrees out. It's cold. And it's supposed to get to 30 and snow tomorrow. But hopefully, if that's gone, I'll bring the coach home and start doing some videos on the bus. And uh, like I said, I've got a video um, probably coming out on that battery. Uh, and I already did one on the cooler. And I wouldn't put a video out if I didn't think uh, the stuff was pretty good. That thing right there is freaking awesome. Um, I'm gonna put it in my coach, but you know, if you pull your truck uh, behind the coach, um, you can throw this guy in there and run it off that for five days uh, and then charge it back up if you want to, or you can use it for lights and cell phones and all of that stuff. But that cooler, I uh, used it for a week and uh, it did well. Um, and then that battery's cool. Um, ran my uh, office off of it. But thanks for tuning in. Uh, we've got more videos coming up. And let me know if you want to see anything else.